this Karen Frost at Handmade Soap Decadence. Um, I haven't made any videos for a while because I've been struggling with my illness. Um, I had a mini relapse, so that meant I basically couldn't do anything other than just lay down. Um, and I'm trying to sort of get back out of it now. I'm starting to feel a bit more human again. Um, my illness causes me a great deal of pain and also migraines. Um, I get muscle spasms, so it is quite a horrible thing. Um, but I, 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 you know, I've been in pain all my life. I've had it all my life. It's not something I'm new to. It's just that it really bugs me when, um, you know, I have have these really bad, bad issues when I can't do anything. But like I said, I'm trying to starting to feel a bit more human again, the pain levels are starting to, you know, get to where they normally are, they're not quite there yet, so I'm still really easily fatigued, but, you know, pushing on, trying to get through, and I have been dying to make some soap, oh, soap is an addiction, and when you can't get to do it, it's really annoying, but, um, I thought I'd show you first of all, um, a little trick that I have, I, um, because not, not everybody has a skinny mould. Now, if you want to turn your mould into a skinny mould, a really easy way to do it is this. Now, I've not made it too skinny. Um, and it's got to be a sort of short fat bar. But what I've done is I've cut some cardboard, several pieces, taped them round and round, because I didn't have any um, sticky back plastic. Sticky back plastic probably would have been better. Um, taped it round and round like this, so that you know you, you've got a thickness there. So however many, I've got one, two, three, I've got four pieces of cardboard here, but it would all depend on how many you'd need to, for the width you're looking for. So what I've done is I've made this now from, oh, uh, let's see, this was a four inch before, and now I've made it to a three and a half inch. So, instead of being, you know, four, it will be three and a half. So if I wanted to make it three, I would just double, put another piece of this. Oh, where's my other one? I don't know where my other one is. But anyway, I've got another one, and you just put another one in, and then that will take it, you know, to three inches. So that's just a little quick, cheap tip to uh, customise your mould, and um, without having to buy another one. Just a, a little handy tip, I hope that helps you all. But um, I'm gonna pause for now and uh, quickly line my mold, because actually I haven't molded, uh, haven't, oh, I can't speak. I have, <laughs> I'm really not with it. I'm quite high on my medication, I will warn you now. This video may be a bit insane. Anyway, I'm gonna <laughs> line my mold. I'll be back in a minute to make my soap. <laughs> <laughs> See you in a sec. <laughs> okay, I'm back. My mould is all lined and ready to go. And as you can see, that side is this side. is thicker than the other side, obviously, with my homemade insert, which I love. So, what am I making today? I am making a um, soap. Cold process soap using the fragrance um, called Black Orchid, and that's from Grace Fruit. <clears throat> um, I'm going to be using some micas and a little bit of activated charcoal and titanium dioxide. I've mixed my titanium dioxide in, in distilled water to just make it easier. I've got some. Yep, some yellow mica in here. I've uh, got some, a mixture of merlot and pink mica in that one. Um, I've got some purple with a touch of charcoal just to darken it some. And then I've got my activated charcoal in there. So, game plan is I have got some little moustaches that I'm going to be putting on top, <clears throat> so well, I won't be having a peaked top, hopefully, if it, as long as it doesn't accelerate, of course. Um, I want a flat top so that I can 
put my little moustaches on the top. Um, and I'm looking to do probably drop swirl, most likely with a chopstick swirling inside. I might use my fork. Um, quite like the swirl this gives, so I might twirl this in the soap. We'll see. Depends on what how it goes and everything. So let's get on with it. In here I've got my shea butter, cocoa butter, coconut cream, olive oil, sunflower oil. That's all in there. In my lye water I have got silk and I have already strained that in preparation. So for now I'm going to put my kaolin clay in to my oils so that I can uh, blitz that up and make sure it's nicely blended in before I put in my lye. Wheezy whiz. <coughs> Sorry about the noise. massive 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 block of um, unrefined uh, organic cocoa butter and oh my good lord does that stuff smell good and when you combine that with the coconut cream and um, the coconut oil oh my god it smells good enough to eat if I could just make a soap that smelled like that I'd love it <coughs> wouldn't need any other fragrance if I could just get it to stay smelling like that it's amazing <coughs> Right, that looks pretty all good and blended. Um, I am going to ooh, get this off. I'm going to give my milky mix a quick whiz. Does get a bit clumpy. I put um, oh gosh, I've lost the ability to speak. <laughs> I've got my soy powder and my oatmeal powder in here, so that makes it a lot thick. See, I really can't talk, don't know why I'm bothering. Right, makes it a lot thicker, but I've also got double cream. Uh, Greek natural yogurt and um, buttermilk in here, so it was a thick mixture anyway. I'm just going to give that a quick blitz to make sure I get my lumps out. my lye water in here and get this show on the road because it's already going to be a long video from me waffling. Right, lye water that's already been, as I said, strained and I finally got around to getting a stainless steel jug um, for all the new sofas out there. The only safe thing to keep your lye water in is actually stainless steel. Aluminium will react with it. If plastic and glass it will eventually start to break it down and it will end up in your soap from it if you continue to use it as far as my research has indicated. <coughs> so my opinion but that's what my research indicated, so I am sticking with that. And also fragrances. If you put your fragrance in something like this, it'll bellow right through it. It will just eat it. 
and you'll have fragrance everywhere. So either glass or a proper sturdy plastic to put your fragrance in. Just a little tip for you. Right, glasses on. Let's get a blendy. Just going to bring it up to emulsification, obviously, because I need to mix my colours, and I've got quite a few. Because I roll that way, that way. That's how I roll. <laughs> I told you this video was going to be a bit insane. Like I said, high on medication. Bear with me, people. <laughs> Should have tapped my blender. Another tip, tap your blender and get the air bubbles out so you don't end up with them in your swoop. I mean, you can stir, stir the bubbles out a bit, but it's best not to get them in there in the first place. So I really want to keep the blending down to a minimum until I've mixed my colours. I always put the fragrance in after the colours because I learned my lesson with that one. I tried it up when I was first learning. I tried it in the oils tried it before I um, mixed my colours and it, you know what, for me, it's easier for me to do it after I've mixed my colours. And as you can see, I'm getting what is known as false trace because of my butters and they want to solidify because I'm soaking at room temperature. So now I am going to get the rest of my butters in, my super thudding, and also my creamy mix. So let's get the, uh, the milky mix in there. So that also makes up uh, part of my water content. As you can see, you can see the, well, I don't know if you can see, but there's got the bits from the ground oatmeal and soy powder. <clears throat> oh, that fragrance. Oh, I can smell it whilst I'm sitting here and it smells good. It smells so good. I did, when I made the um, embeds, I did actually use that fragrance knowing that this is the soap I was going to be um, using it for. So, um, I know they're cold process embeds. And what I did was I just made a small one pound batch of soap and uh, you know separated it off to make um, various embeds for different soaps so that they'd be sitting there waiting ready for me to make the soup. So I don't really use melt and pour. In fact, I've never used melt and pour unless I've made it myself. So I don't. I don't do that very often. Right, these are my super fairs. This is cocoa butter and shea butter and a bit of coconut cream. And I'm just mixing it because like it's cooling, so my coconut cream is trying to solidify on the bottom. And I probably should have used my little bucket to do this because it's getting rather full. Hey ho, as long as I can just get this blended up, I'll be splitting it off for colouring anyway. No biggie. So I'm just going to scrape all those lovely butters out. I don't want to leave any of that in there because it's too good to be wasting that. And far too expensive, I might add. Probably said that in every single video, but I don't mean to drone on. It's just the truth. Oh, has anybody been following the Oscar Pistorius trial? Oh, I've been um, watching it on YouTube because some people have posted um, videos of the trial because they 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 record it. They let the press in. Today and yesterday they didn't because the pathologist was giving evidence and they didn't deem that, um, what's the word I'm looking for, 
it was it would have been unsensitive for them to have televised that um, out of respect for Reva and her family. But oh, what do you think, people? Do you think he did it on purpose? In my opinion, he did it. He did it. He's guilty. He did it on purpose. We know he did it. We know they know he sh that he shot her. But did he do it on purpose? And I reckon he did because I don't think he's all there. My opinion. I don't have any proof, of course. It's just what I think. It's just my, my feeling. <laughs>
mostly because they were red. <laughs> so they were on sale, but even on sale, they still cost more than my, my purple ones with the stainless steel handle. Okay, that's that. or plopped in, should I say. heavy for me. Right, so all I'm going to do now is go with my chopstick along the top, which corner shall I slide that corner, that corner, that corner, that corner. I'm going to 
go this way. Figure of eight. Down the side. Cool. That's pretty. It looks just like my soap cake. <laughs> Not supposed to, but it does. Right, one more bang. And then I can put my little stashes on and I will let you people go. And I have got some black showing on top, which I didn't want. But hey ho, oh my god, it looks just like my soap cake, doesn't it? <laughs> right, let's get my stashes on. I've got to take my gloves off first because I can't be dealing with this. They're annoying me. Right, I'm going to take my glasses off as well because I don't need those right now. I'm not banging anymore. I'm not doing any more. So, let's get my little tash and squish it in. Another way. Squish it in. This is probably going to have quite a few air pockets in it. see some bubbles on the top that came up when I was burning. Get in there, Mr. Little Moustache. I don't know why I'm putting moustaches on a woman's soap, but that's what I felt like. So I did. I made them. For this soap specifically, although the colours are not what I was going for. I should have just used my dyes. I was going to use my dye, but because I had my new micas that I haven't used that much yet, I really wanted to use those. But I know now I want my really dark colours like how I had them in my Tutti Frutti soap then for sure I have to use my dyes or maybe mix my dyes with mica. Cool. Right. That is it my darlings. Thank you for watching and thank you to all my new subscribers. Um, I really appreciate it and I'm amazed that anyone's really bothered about um, my soap making and I have reached over a hundred subscribers now, so I will be doing a giveaway as a little thank you for the support. Um, so I will do a separate video for that. So for now, thank you for watching everyone, and I will see you very shortly with a uh, giveaway video. Where I will let you have some of my soaps. Maybe a massage bath. We'll see what I've got handy that hasn't been used already by myself and my family. So here you have it with my little moustaches on top. Let's give you a little close up. Hope that's focusing. So that's my black orchid fragranced soap. Thanks for watching, everyone. Take care now, peeps. Bye. Bet you thought I forgot. Well, you know what? I did. I did forget. Glitter. Gotta have the glitter. Right. So I spritz it with alcohol, quick, quick. Give me a little spritzy, spritzy. Just notice one side is higher than the other. I'm going to shimmy it like that. There we go. That's a bit better. Evens it out a bit. Right, and I'm just going to put some 
iridescent glitter on top. really heavy handed with this. Oh well. It will wash off. It won't stay on your skin. It's just cosmetic glitter and it does wash off after the first or second use. It will be gone. It's just to make it look parody. One more spritz. Make sure my glitter sticks. That when I'm cutting it don't all fall off because that's annoying. Oh, and there we go with the glitter on top. Pretty, pretty, pretty glitter. All right, now that really is it. I'll do a cutting video, so uh, either stay tuned or look out for that video. All right, take care, Abby. Bye. Hi everyone, it's Carol Frost here at Handmade Soap Decadence and I'm going to be cutting my Black Orchid Soap. So I'm just showing you how I prepare my cutter before I start cutting anything. I always swipe it all down with alcohol, spritz the old handies. Then I rub down, and then I can handle my salt. So, here it is. This is the one I made yesterday. Um, I did do quite a steep water discount on this one. So, it's uh, hardened up really well, really quickly. <coughs> I'm just going to cut an end piece off. end pigs. Got some little swirl going on in there. Pretty cool. I didn't get to swirl it as much as I'd wanted to because with the water discount it did thicken up rather a lot on me. But it looks like I've got swirl going on still, which is pretty darn cool. Hold on a minute. Let me just see. Wouldn't have been accurate had I left it on. Okay. Just lining it up. There we go. And there's my first piece. Ooh, look at that. Got an air pocket there. I did think I would have some. I like my swell. I do like my swell. It looks pretty cool. <clears throat> right, let's get the next slice going. Pull that back. Wipe off my wire. My mobile phone is ringing and I'm not going to answer it because I'm busy doing this. I'm hoping you guys can't hear it because I don't have the child friendly song on there. <laughs> well, not the child friendly version anyway. I know I should have put it on silent before I started. Right, next cut. There we go. So this one. If you've watched the making video, you saw how thick it was, and I did the fork twirling inside to get my swirlies going. And considering how thick it was, I'm, I'm quite happy with it. I have got some um, titanium dioxide crackling, but um, 
I had a feeling I would have that anyway because I did gel it. So it did get quite hot. So that doesn't surprise me. Titanium dioxide does crackle when your soaps get hot. Here's the next one. Everyone has got a sort of different type of swirl, which is pretty cool. I'm just glad I got any swirl at all, considering how thick it was. I mean, it's not the thickest I've worked with, by any means. I've had thicker, but it was pretty thick. And I'm surprised I don't have more air pockets actually. So I'm quite pleased with that. I've only seen one air pocket so far. Pretty cool. I'm hoping to get another video done in a day or two once I've had a bit of a rest because man did I pay for it yesterday and last night and I'm still paying for it now my neck and shoulder muscles went into spasm yesterday after making the soap so I had a really rough evening and night and uh, a bit of a crappy morning to be honest but I really wanted to make a soap and I don't so, well, I wouldn't say it was worth the pain because, you know, it's not nice being in pain, but I am glad I did it, if that makes any sense. I'm glad to have made another soap. Making soap makes me happy. And this is my ultimately favourite part is cutting. I love cutting my soaps and seeing what I got inside. And that's pretty cool. I'm sorry the light in here is really pants. The lighting is never very good. I'll move, move my little lamp up a little bit. <coughs> got the sort of raw soapy smell but underneath that you, find, you get the fragrance. I actually only used 0.5% of fragrance in this per pound of oils and um, that was the recommended usage rate from uh, the seller so I always check what the recommended rate is. Obviously, I, I want my soaps to be safe to use on skin, so usage rates are important to pay attention to. I'm really happy with this. Don't mind the crap clean either. It's a pretty cool effect. A lot of people don't like the uh, titanium dioxide crap clean. I can understand why, but... Sometimes you can't avoid it. And if you're going to gel your soaps, <coughs> it is more likely that it will happen. So that's just the way it goes. And I'm not one for putting my soaps in the fridge. I'd never have room, one, and two, I'd never be bothered. I just like to put my lid on and... Uh, Put it near the radiator to keep it warm and let it get on with it. In the summer, obviously, the radiators aren't on, but it's pretty warm anyway with the, the lid on it. So, they t with the milks, the sugars from the milks, they tend to gel on their own anyway. There we go. 
see I've just got the hint of black in the swirls not a huge amount of black just a little bit a bit of a drag mark there let's smooth that out that's cool okie dokie last slice slice didn't get much of a swirl on there that then that was right at the end but the swirl is a little bit on this side so that's pretty cool and there's the little tashi tash on the top and that's it so that's all I have for now I will be doing a giveaway video like I mentioned before um, when I'm smiling, I'm feeling a little bit better I will like I said, after I've had a rest, I'll get that that video uploaded once I've made it, of course, and that'll be that. So that's all I've got for now. Take care now, peeps. Bye.